Good morning. So, let's talk about this subject right here. That is driving the internet mad, especially black people who are pretty upset about Deion Sanders. Let's get into it. Hard Talk Radio, live in 4K. You've made a tremendous impact at the HBCUs. I guess how difficult was the decision to leave what you started there? Tremendous. Because it wasn't about the X's and O's or the wins and losses. It was about those kids. It was about looking at the faces of those kids, knowing that uh, I'm being ready. God is getting ready to elevate me. I'm sorry. God is getting ready to elevate me. Usually a coach is terminated or elevated. Thank God I'm elevated. But still, the, the journey is not complete. Some of the things that we accomplished there about bringing understanding and notoriety to certain uh, falsities or uh, non-committal things that are done at Power Fives, maybe God is using me to be the catalyst, to make you think and to make you just fathom another way, to, to make us feel unthreatened when someone of the other ethnicity is approaching, to just make us feel good about today. Maybe God is really using me to open doors at this level. The thing that alarms me the most is just because I'm leaving Jackson, they think that I'm leaving African Americans. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> I can never leave who I am and what I am and how I am and how I go about being that. So it is still my task to look in that locker room and see 65 to 70 percent of African American men trying to help them get to the next level, as well as all the others. My calling is for young men, young women, and people of all walks of life, all social climates and all ethnicities. That's my calling. My calling is not built on a location. It's built on a destination. Now that was good. You're supposed to clap for that. <laughs> Darn it, that was good. You give some of my good stuff. We just, we just getting started. I already went in the bag, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Now, people want to call him a sellout. Okay. Now, let me let me read this. Does this sound like a sellout to you? Deion Sanders pledges half his salary to renovate Jackson State University's football facilities. Half his salary. Not some, not a little bit, but half. Jackson State football coach Deion Sanders has made a public pledge to donate half his salary to the HBCU. His financial commitment to the institution will be will be to help complete the school's football facilities. And Sanders posted a video on Instagram to share the news. Coach Primetime is currently in the second year of his four-year $1.2 million contract with Jackson State University. Constance Swartz Maroney, who represents Sanders, via talent management company smack entertainment appeared in the five and a half minute video to inform them the school's budget for renovations has run out the school's budget let, let me ask you a question is it Deion sanders or the school's job to renovate the football facility it's the school's job okay Let's hear what Deion Sanders has to say. This uh, quote unquote sellout. 
All right. I'm a sports bunny. So it's still a lot of stuff that we don't. Uh, this is gonna be the bunion area. Oh, I'm gonna show good? you. Okay. I say the bunion area. Area. Her husband, successful, very successful businessman, plans to do our electronics, TVs, and for the for the lounge. Ah, this is it. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna have. I think this area over here. Somewhere. You heard that? Gillette is sponsor that area. We need to do that. Please. We're going to put the barber chairs over there. And that's the other one that needs one for the position. We'll probably have to put a tight end or something in that room. Because they, they have a small group. Because we don't have the space. Okay. And this has to be ready when? Um, by the 4th of August. So, two weeks? Nelly, you might want to get this. I got a funny feeling something's about to go down. I looked at my friends. I was like, it's about to go down. So this all has to be done in a couple weeks. Yep. Because the budget's tapped out. So here's what I think you're going to need to do, which means we're doing this. Okay. I think we need to donate. What? Donate. I don't, we, we've been donate. Donate. <laughs> donate more. <laughs> I think you're going to have to give up some of your salary to do this. We, we, we ain't filming this over. So oh, gonna, this is on camera? So we're going oh, so to no. we give up some of my salary to get this Well, done. don't forget, part of your salary is part of my salary. Right. So this is a team. I think we give up a quarter of your salary to finish this up. A quarter. 20% is my profit, Tango. Give you that. What do I got left? Nothing. My 20% puts me out of business and maybe somebody you know out of business. There's legitimate ways of doing things, Tango, and then there's this way. Not even Bumpy took 20%. I know how much all is costing now. You do know. What if you're the one on the ground with this? You've taken this over. You're, you're the, the GC. We've got what? The wiring, the new rooms, the walls. Electronics. Electronics. How's our Wi-Fi? Excuse me. <laughs> this is your legacy I mean, we're talking I'm, I'm about. Gonna, you make it back. We're gonna make it back. You gotta make it back. I'm gonna make it you back. You gotta make it Don't back. We always make it back. We always make it back. Okay. We're going we're good with that. All right. How much is it? How much? Quarter of your salary. Quarter? Quarter. You sure? What do you think? Is that enough? A little more than that. A little I put, more. I put more than that on. I put more than that on <gasps> to get this done for these kids. To get this done for these kids, I put. Now you got me. See, I I, I don't know, man. I, I can't see the sellout here. Where where's the sellout? I'm trying to see where the sellout is. I'm trying to see where this guy is a backstabber. He betrayed his own people. Where is it? I can't see that. The only I think I could see here is Jackson State dropping the ball. They need to take the title of Jackson State and say, we dropped the ball, university. That's what needs to be. We dropped the ball, university. I'm going to say this. You have a lot of blacks that scream white supremacy, scream that we're being oppressed. 
scream that blacks with talent leave. As soon as they get their talent, they leave. They don't come back to the community. They leave and go somewhere else. Do you know why? Because short change. All right. You shortchange the people, the blacks who have the skills. You disrespect them. They have to be doing the work that you're supposed to be doing. Just like with Deion Sanders right here. He's not supposed to be doing this. He's not supposed to be doing this at all. This is not his job. He is a football coach. He is not a contractor for construction and renovation. This is not his job. And the fact that the football, the college facility, the college faculty can't see that and can't and reimburse him and pay him his proper dues. Everyone in Jackson State faculty needs to be fired because they dropped the ball. If it was a crime, it would be in the third degree. Third degree. Hey, man, Multiple I'll charges. I'll put more than that on it. I'll put, put half on it. Half your salary? I'll put half on it to get this done. I put half on it to get this done. If you don't believe me, check me. Check me. I will send you the receipts. It doesn't end with you. We gotta get this done. That's beautiful. Cause this is gonna be a nice game room and all that. to open the door, not just for Jackson State, but for everybody. I mean, simplistic things like a training table, like the practice surface, um, some of the equipment, some of the field equipment. It's so many things that, that, that I'm on and uh, having a lot of meetings every day, and this is one of them. So I, I love it. I love the challenge of it. But if these kids had the same playing field, I guarantee you more would matriculate to the next level. But it's not. And that's why I'm here to balance this thing. Because some of the things that, that I've seen thus far in my early tenure are truly unacceptable. And it causes a kid not to dream. It causes a kid to not have that passion because he don't see no end result that's promising for him. And the devil is a lie. That that's not gonna happen up under my watch. Ain't no way in the world. They deserve better.